So, as I've said in the previous videos, that my mom passing away, and in I think it was the summer of eighth grade, going into ninth, my two best friends and I were on like a conference call late night, <laughs> and I went downstairs to close everything up, and. One of my friends kept repeating this thing, and I'm telling you, like, don't get scared. Like, it freaked me out, but don't get scared. It's not a scary story. Well, it might be, like, a little scary until the end. So, yeah. Um, just as she was on the phone, and my friend, there was me, my friend Krista, and my friend Crystal. <laughs> and one of my friends kept repeating, she's coming, she's coming, she'll be there in five minutes, she's coming, and it was so creepy because it was so monotone and she kept repeating it, and me and my other friend were like, stop it, you're freaking us out, like, get a hold of yourself, what are you doing, like, why are you trying to scare us, and everything was dark, in my house, because I had shut down everything downstairs, and even the hallway light was off. And I was just sitting in my room, sitting on my bed, because my bed was facing this way. And I was sitting on it, looking out towards the hallway. And I never told my friends the story for, like, the longest time. And so, like, I got really freaked out because she kept saying it, and we just decided to hang up the phone because it was really creeping us out. I mean, we were, like, 13, 14. You can't say that to us in the middle of the night. So, um, something caught my eye in the hallway, and I looked out, and I saw a shadow figure walking. And it walked from the master bedroom, my dad's bedroom, to what would have been my sister's bedroom, but she had moved out at that point, and she was in a, in an apartment. So I watched the shadow figure walk from my dad's bedroom area to another one of the rooms and then just disappear. You'd think you'd be scared of that, right? But I had like this really comforting feeling. It's warm, comforting. I wasn't scared. I felt like it was my mom checking up on us.